What is business intelligence? When you are performing a task, a third eye comes in handy to judge your performance. This would help you get insights and ideas on how to improve overall. Similarly, business intelligence is a comprehensive set of tools and data that gives you an idea of where your business stands currently. In today's session, we will talk about business intelligence. Additionally, we will discuss the purpose it serves and cover all the major aspects related to BI. Before we start with the actual discussion, subscribe to Scalers YouTube channel and click on the bell icon too. What do you mean by business intelligence? A strategic plan that will help your business to grow comes from seeing the history and understanding what holes to fill. Hence, business intelligence comes with a set of tools that provide information on a company's performance. This is usually done by presentations, reports, analytics, insights and data through graphs and charts. If you think this is a little hard to follow, don't worry just yet. We have plenty of time to run through some examples to help you understand better. Some examples for better understanding. Before we get started on the examples, we should talk about something. Business intelligence does not mean you will be shown a pathway to improve your business. Nor will it tell you what decisions to make next. As a businessman, you will know that better. A tool of BI will give you an idea of where you are at, maybe at the end of the month. So you must keep revisiting the tool and take the complete advantage along with using your business mind. To give you a better picture, here are some examples of BI. First example, let's say you are a salesman in a store. You are working closely with the customers and understanding their behaviors when they come to your store. You have a few people who come in every few days and buy things from you. They engage in conversations and small talk and you have a good feeling about them. As a salesman, they are the people where you can make the most sales. You have observed their behavior and gathered information as to what kind of things they like and you make sure to keep them in stock. This is making your sales reports better than the last month with so many potential buyers. Hence, you can make preparations for the next month. Now imagine software doing the same work for you. A tool will understand the client's behavior based on the analytics and the numbers. Then it will drive a comprehensive chart with graphs and statistics so you know who the potential clients are. Example 2. Let's say there is a hotel manager working hard every day. He checks in hundreds of people and provides proper services. BI tool would comprise data that will conclude which guests have been the most profitable towards the hotel. It will collect the data from individual rooms and provide an account of the revenue earned per room. Think of BI as an umbrella under which there are a number of tools that develop analytics for your benefit. While one tool calculates the revenue, another one will compare with the overall hotel market. The numbers will be compared to the competitors so you understand where you are standing in rank. Are these examples getting too generic? Let's dive into something more realistic and give an example of something that happened in real life. Example 3. Everybody has heard about Coca-Cola. The company was not allowed to get their data of sales and operations on a real-time basis. The reason was that they conducted manual surveys to get the database ready. The problem was elevated to not getting the reports ready and not improving altogether. With the introduction to BI, they managed to get their reports done without getting down to the field. Not only that, the tools helped them attain their sales report faster but also improved customer relationship management with the sales team paying full attention to them. It has saved the company more than 40 work hours a week. That is impressive. We hope to provide a clear picture of what exactly business intelligence is. Now let us hop into the importance of having the set of tools and how these tools function. This would be a good time to hit that like button. What is the importance of business intelligence? When you continue doing something without any feedback, you happen to go wrong. It can ruin the business decisions that you would make further. That is why you have tests to give you an idea of how far along you are in the race. Businesses have been seen to work better with an account of their previous performances. Looking back at your past will not only tell you where you went wrong, but it will also give you ample time to rectify the problems. Thus, you have a smoother and a better performing organization. Moreover, you will have an idea of the market trends that would make you catch up. These reports will not only let you get behind on what is happening in the world and the right hands can also improve your hiring staff. Some of the important features that help everything possible are as follows. Compare data in the market with the competitor companies. Find out the methods that would increase profit. Find out the possibility of success and failure. Help you catch up with the trends and the views of the market. 
improve relationships with customers, track performance. These tools have magnificently improved the future of many businesses. But everything is a moot point if you do not know how the entire mechanism works. Stay tuned to find out the better ways of how this entire system works. How does it work? To understand how many businesses emerged from the ashes and improved greatly, we need to understand the mechanism. When someone starts a company, he or she starts with a couple of targets to hit. Even if it is a startup, goals help people improve. BI tracks the performance of the company and provides its history. As an entrepreneur, it will give you an opportunity to push your potential a little more. Hence, you will be able to make possible and better adjustments to your by the comprehensive data. Now, there are a few types of tools under the umbrella of business management that you need to consider. The process includes data mining. Data mining is something wherein the tools require an array of statistics and databases. These tools are used by data mining experts and they also study machine learning techniques to discover the market trends and the patterns of the set. Second, reports and analytics. After data mining, the next step is sharing and composing data analytics reports. These reports help the businessmen track the progress and make decisions accordingly. Third, operation analysis. These are the biggest competition that you can come across is yourself. The next best thing is a performance analysis and benchmarking. This part of the process includes comparing data that was previously provided with the current data. This will show you the details of how far you have come. Fourth, query. With a huge amount of data, much information get lost in the pile. To make sure that doesn't happen, the tools allow querying that brings out the answers to data specific questions. Fifth, statistical analysis of the company. This is a more detailed way of going about the reports. The comparison of sales and the historic cumulative works is done. It will explain the result and how you got to it, which trends were followed and how you can improve. Sixth, data visualization. Our brain tends to remember things better when we see them with our eyes. Hence, the data that was statistically developed is turned into visual modes through histograms and bar graphs to provide an idea of the company's current situation. Seventh, tools and tricks. Dependence on software also means depending on tools that help the software comprise the data. Therefore, not acknowledging the contribution to the process will be bad. Here are some tools that have significantly helped many businesses to grow. Online analytical processing, ETL or extract transformation node, reporting, dashboards and visualizations. These tools have helped immensely the growth of the business given the think tanks a little more to think about. Next, we will talk about some of the advantages and benefits of having a business intelligence vendor. Additionally, we will also include some of the famous vendors. Benefits of business intelligence. Why is the world bringing these tools and the entire umbrella into their corporation? That only reason would be because they are being benefited from them. Business owners would not do anything to jeopardize their efforts. A cold rule of business is, if it is not giving any profits, then you need to cut it out. But BI is not only still in the field, but is also taking the business world by storm. And that is because it has a lot of benefits that will be discussed further. Point out the mistakes. One great thing about the comprehensive set of tools is that it will highlight the mistakes. The areas that need more attention into detail, among other things, will be pointed out without doing much work. Accountability. If you're doing something, someone must be responsible for it. If you're not responsible for your actions, the BI system and this good or bad will depend on the statistics. Helping productivity. Boosting productivity is the entire purpose of doing business and adding new things. It has proven to be beneficial to many businesses and thus it is always a better idea to try out new things. You never know what you might find. Perspective. When you're looking from the top, you get to see the whole picture. The system gives you a bird's eye and enables you to get to see what the things you will need to work on are. Bookkeeping. Be it technical or non-technical, keeping an updated database will help the software and your business. Hence, don't worry about that as the system will also manage the data processing and keep an account of the history. The benefits provide leverage as to why you should install a system today. And if you're looking through options, you will need to know about some vendors who do this work. We won't leave you high and dry in that area. Hence, we have brought you a list of business intelligence vendors that will be of help to your progress. First, Domo. This is based on the cloud that comes with tools that cater to almost every industry. 
That includes the healthcare, financial sector, and even education. Second, Dundas BI. This vendor is perfect to create data like scorecards and dashboards. It is the perfect tool to use when you want to excel at a presentation. Third, Click. Mastering visualizations, business intelligence, and analytics. The platform is extremely smooth and scalable. Google Data Studio. Google has never disappointed us. This part includes expertise in analytics, but is even more boosted than Google Analytics. Then Einstein Analytics, the mother vendor Salesforce. It has managed to bring artificial intelligence and merge it with BI. These vendors are thriving in the market and have been known to help a lot with the companies. If you're trying to land on a decision, then it is best you do your research until you're not sure. But that would not stop the market from increasing. It brings the question, what does the future look like for BI? What's next for business intelligence? Just like everything else in the world, business intelligence is improving greatly too. Every system is managing to keep up with the trends of the market. What is great about the technology world is that it will hardly ever stop growing. That would include artificial intelligence especially. And it would be a great opportunity for BI systems. The reason behind it is that they just have to integrate with the updating BI systems. We are looking at companies using BI that will encounter data-driven practices. Development in data visualization will give people a better idea of the future. They will also be able to track and predict the next moves and so you can use it to your benefit. Moreover, you will get a real-time sales forecast and thus you will understand customer behavior better. Conclusion The world of business is growing. You will notice a lot of startups and small businesses are gaining attention. To grow their business for a bright future, they will have to look back to the past. That is not always such a bad thing. And you should do it too. We hope that this session was helpful. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and let us know. And if there is someone who needs to hear this, then share it with them right now. Do not miss any of our videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for the latest updates from us.